Hello and welcome to Always the Wild Ones. My name is Vanessa Lee and as it says in the title, I'm going to be doing my first online boxing video. Um, I placed an order two days ago. It was a completely random, like, spur at the moment shop. I basically went into Google, put it put in the specific name, I'm not going to say it, the plant that um, I was looking for into the search engine and it popped up and I found the most, well, let's hope, we'll wait until it arrives, but I think I found an amazing buy, like a bit of a bargain. So I'm very excited about that. I placed the audio with, blah, I placed the audio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god it has arrived you're not gonna believe this but i can't even believe this check out this box check out this box it's all this this is nuts <laughs> okay i'm gonna get some scissors Still just can't actually believe the size of the box. I was expecting, I don't know. Let's have a look and see what it looks like inside. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I didn't hold back on the size of the box. I mean, who knows, there might be something really tiny in there. I don't think so. Have you guessed what it is? It's a philodendron, splendid, on a pole already. I mean, this was probably its latest leaf, which is looking a little damaged, but I'm not mad at all at that. How many are in here actually? Oh, there's quite a few. So if you get in there, I've got one stem here, one, two, three, four. They've sent me this amazing plant. I can't actually believe how amazing it looks. I've got a new leaf coming here. <laughs> Just there. Um, she's looking a little bit like she got bumped around a little bit, but this was on sale. I think it was on sale for about 40 something, 42 pound. I'll check the receipt and I'll put the correct price up. But I'm really amazed. I mean, look, her leaves are gonna get bigger. And now that she's home here with me, <laughs> I'm just gonna put her back on the pole. This is a lot of plant. This is a lot of plants. Oh my God. I just can't believe it. So yeah, on the inside of this box, there was this other box inside holding. I mean, it's really very well done, but I had to pretty much demolish the base of the box. 
um, yeah, I don't know, I'll have a look inside. But yeah, there's this kind of base and it was strapped down to that base. And then it was just left kind of quite happily in this nice airy box. So I'm really, really impressed with this company. And I think if they do one of those um, rescue boxes, I think I might order one. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty impressive. So yeah, let me get a little bit more comfy. I'm gonna turn the camera, I'm gonna put the camera over there again. I'm so, so happy. Let me look at you, baby. Oh my gosh, there's so many new leaves. There's another one here. And we got one here. One, I mean, there's just, so many plants in here for this price. I, I'm very, very happy. Yay! Okay, so what do I know? What am I going to do with this plant next? I'll probably just, um, the soil is very moist, very moist. So I'm going to just leave that. I mean, I, I can't wait to get it into some decent kind of monstera type soil. It's currently in something that looks like No, it might be cocoa core. It's really moist. I don't see any perlite or anything like that in there. I'll show you what the soil is looking like. If I can get there without. So you can have a look and see the soil there, which I guess um, is kind of standard for most nurseries to put them in this soil. It just means that they can just water it and then walk away, like they don't have to keep watering it. It will stay moist for longer. But I do know that this plant is susceptible to root rot. I have been doing a little bit of research, so I would really like to potentially get it out of this pot. But I'm gonna leave it I'm going to leave it for a day or two. Oh, I don't know. I'm really tempted to just get it out of that soil. Um, I'm just checking if the plant for pests, really. And, I mean... <sighs> oh my gosh, something's flying, but that's probably from here anyway. Because <laughs> I do have a bit of a muddy gnat situation. Um, that's probably just bits of soil, hopefully. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do with this plant is give it a neem oil treatment, just to kind of, yeah, just to kind of sort it out for now. Oh, I can't actually believe how beautiful and big this plant is. I was most definitely expecting something half the size. It's quite weird actually, because um, I looked on a, quite a few different websites, obviously, I had to hunt. And I did see a couple of varicosums, but they were all like little two leaf um, seedlings. And, um, okay, they weren't, how much were they going for? They're probably going for about 27 pound, the little seedlings. This plant I bought for 40 pound, it was on sale. Um, and I mean, it's just massive, it's huge. The company is actually based in Sheffield, which is in the UK, so just, get on that website as quickly as possible and grab one because they're on sale right now and this is what you will expect to get. So yeah, I'm gonna order a moss pole because I don't actually have, I've got one moss pole, like I wanna put it on a D-shaped moss pole like that. And I only have one. I mean, this is really bad, like 
this morning I was kind of contemplating taking this plant off oh, oh, taking this plant off the pole off this moss pole for now and then pinning that plant on this pole uh, and yeah to be honest I'm still kind of thinking I might do that I might do that because I'm too impatient to wait and I really do just want to get it into decent soil so I'm going to do that I think I'm going to take a small break um, just think this through logically first because I'm like literally as I'm doing this I'm figuring this out right now and I don't want to rush into anything. I'm going to make myself a sandwich and just like calm myself a bit because I'm super excited and I can do some crazy stuff when I'm excited. Um, <laughs> I, have to, I need to like calm down and think things through properly. But oh my gosh. Look at these lips. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. I mean, look, they, there are, there is some damage. But I'm really fine with that because I know that it's the next leaf that I'm really looking forward to. And the leaf after that and the next size up and it's just going to keep sizing up, hopefully. But that's why I really want to get this onto a moss pole and I definitely want to give it a neem. And <sighs> yay! Okay, so I'm gonna go have a sandwich and for you it's gonna be like a couple of seconds. For me it'll probably be about half an hour, but I really just wanted to show you the plant as soon as I got it. Oh my god. I've got to find a place to put it. Where is it going to go? Where are you going to go? Someone's going to have to move. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm shame this guy is going to have to come off this pole because I'm going to need it. And I do have the bit that goes on top. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And we're going to do it together. Um, I don't have a clear plastic pot in this size though. So maybe I might need to pop out as well and go buy one quick. Where would I get one? Mm. Well, I will keep you in the lowdown. I'm gonna pop off now and I shall see you in a couple of seconds. All right. Hi guys, so I am back. Um, it is quite a bit later. I did pop out and just kind of went for a walk, had a look to see what was out there. Couldn't find a pot anyway, but I have decided to just leave the plant alone for a bit. Um, yeah, although I am still a little concerned about how moist the soil is, I'm just going to leave it and just let it dry out a bit. So for now, I just want to tidy her up and, or him. <laughs> I'm going to tidy the plant up a bit and I'm going to give it a neem treatment. So I've already mixed up, this is the product that I'm using. It's an organic neem oil. On the bottle it says to put one part to a hundred mils. This bottle, this holds 500. So I made up, so it's just in a warm cup of water just so that it doesn't separate because I was still kind of faffing around a little bit. Yeah, so I mixed up, what did I put in there? I put <laughs> five times the amount. So I put five times the amount because there's 500 mils in there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Right, yeah, let's have a look. Let's get her nice and tidy. Oh, she's so cute. So at the moment, it's kind of held by a lot of these weird 
Right, there's this kind of plastic thing here and then there's these metal bits. So I just want to take all those off when I've got some butterfly clips as well. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to remove all of those and I'm going to replace it with this. Hopefully this is going to be long enough. If not, I'll just cut some new ones. Just making sure I am recording. Uh, scissors. Lovely scissors. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's whacked that one. Okay, where do we start? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take this one off. And also at this we can get we can have like a proper look and see how many leaves per thingy. I'm going to take this plastic bit off. Okay, let's get them all bunched together. Again. And I'm just going to, as you know what, we'll start with this one. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? And then these two just twist her around. And you know, I probably could have put all of that on one strap. Do that with the neck strap. Okay, so that's all of them. Take that off. And then the last one. Okay, her loop just wants to kind of go that way. Yeah, that's a bit better. So yeah, I'll probably just leave this guy to just dry out a bit it'll just make repotting that much easier as well oh yeah liking that and then i've kind of left this one she has this brand new leaf on its way that one on. Oh, I can see like a, there's lots of things going on here. Oh no, I think that's where a leaf may have come off, but I do also see an active node. So they have had to cut the plant, I can see a little bit here and there, but there's like all these, let me show you. I can get in there. So I'm guessing that that, can you see? let me get my finger on it first, yeah, there. I'm guessing that that's going to be an aerial root. And then right round here, that actually looks a lot like a shoot of a new leaf or a new stem or something. I'm really excited to see what this plant is going to do. Right, okay, let's get to this stuff. Now, I've decided to use neem oil because after doing quite a substantial amount of research on this plant, what I've discovered is that it is a bit of a pest magnet. So, the Splendid is basically a hybrid. It's a mix of Melonochrysum and a, um, Varicosum. But, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm still a bit sick. Yeah, so, and both of those two plants are pest magnets. So the two parents of this plant, you know, it's kind of, the odds are stacked against it. So yeah, um, I would love to try out some, um, like, 
pest control. Um, why can't I think right now? Like the horticultural type, you know, like bugs that eat bugs on this plant. So that's the reason why I'm going to use neem instead of what I usually use. Okay, so it's still a bit warm, which is nice. Ooh. I mean, velvety leaves do not really like being sprayed. But wow. <laughs> yeah, I still do not like the smell of this stuff. It's not great. I'll do the backs afterwards. Quite hardcore that spray. I suppose that may be a good thing. Hopefully. It's got like a, quite a harsh pressure, this. Now let's do the backs. And somehow I've managed to spray this all over myself as well, so. So it's been a nice spray. Did I forget? I think it was. You're done. Oh, this one. Oh, she's done. Who did I forget? Oh, this one. Okay, she's done. So I'm guessing that just the smell alone <laughs> keeps the pests at bay. And there she is, all sopping wet. I also found a nice pot for her to live in. Just pop her in there. Oh, I just love her. I'm just already obsessed with this plant. Is there any way I can get that leaf to not do that? I've actually tied the leaf but to go that away. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Bendy little thing. Okay. That gymnastics just then. Okay. Yeah, I don't I'm not loving the pole. with this leaf. I think that, I mean, the pole alone would cause quite a bit of damage to this leaf. It's like quite spiky. I don't like that. I think I'm going to put something over it for now. Try and use, if I use this. I don't know, really, oh my God, it's just, oh, it's horrible, I hate it. And use this cup. I'm just gonna put this cup over the top for now. Oh no. I had some succulents in the bottom of this cup. Yeah, they're not gonna grow now. Let me just wash this cup out. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's just try and save this poor baby. Yeah, that's better. I've got another philodendron for my collection. I will definitely keep you updated. I do, I do plan on obviously putting this into a different substrate of soil and putting it onto a moss pole. And I will most definitely take you along on that. I actually have quite a few of my philodendrons that need repotting. So, and then some need, yeah, like I've got one that I need to cut up. I've got one that just needs a much bigger part. And I'm sure if I had a good look round, 
I probably have more plants um, that need repotting. So I will do them all together. I'm gonna to do like maybe a philodendron day and include my new plant. Oh. <sighs> Thank you so much for hanging out and I do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you do want this plant and you live in the UK, most definitely get it. Um, have a look at um, Plants for All Seasons. Uh, if you live elsewhere, um, definitely check this plant out. I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely loving her. The more that I'm looking at her, actually um, earlier I put the plant in the bedroom. so. I thought instead of just doing this video, um, like spraying her, I wait until it's like the evening basically, because then she'll get some sunlight. And I have my Mykins in the bedroom at the at the moment as well. She, I don't know, she's, why is she in there? I've treated her for pests already. She's not showing really any signs of pests, but I'm just kind of keeping her away from the others just because she's so delicate right now. And like, you just sneeze on her and she'll catch a cold. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of keeping her in the bedroom and having the two of them together, I could see such similarities. So like, I don't know how, if the camera's really picking this up, but the back of the leaf has this kind of redness about it. It's definitely got a redness to the back of the leaves. Let me try and find one to show you. I don't know, can you see how red that is? I'm coming a little closer. I mean, she's, she's wet. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can see that she's red, right? How interesting is that? I think. This is going to be quite an interesting plant to watch grow. I love the pointy heart-shaped leaf. <sighs> I'm so, so happy with this little prezi for myself. Um, I've been homesick for a couple of days. I was feeling a little sorry for myself and found myself quite late at night. Yeah, it was quite late. <laughs> Shopping. For plants, of course, and I found this and it was just meant to be and I'm just so happy. Yeah, I'm so happy and I can't wait for the new leaves to pop out. Anyway, gosh, I was almost, I was just about to let you go. So I'm going to say goodbye. Have a fabulous week. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Do share this video with all your people. <laughs> Anyway, have a fabulous week and I will see you again very soon. Okay, bye.